Hey, what's going on guys, it's Stukon here, back with a new video. If you clicked on this video, you might be interested in two things. What the bunk meme is, or how you can make the bunk meme yourself. In this video, we are going to cover both. If there's a specific topic you want to see, then there's a time step in the description. But if you want to see both, then relax for a few minutes, because here's the video. So let's start off with the origin of the bunk meme. In 2007, Valve released their classic Team Fortress 2 game. In this game, one character uses the phrase bonk when he kills someone with a baseball bat. I hurt people. Boink! I'm a force of nature. Bonk! It's also used as a taunt to show dominance over an enemy. So bonk is, quite obviously, the sound that a bat makes when it hits something. Bonk! It has always been a joke in the Team Fortress 2 community, but it was never a full-blown meme. In 2009, however, the meme was actually born. Snoot Boops uploaded a video of a doge being hit with a hammer on the head, deforming his head and having bonk written as a text on top of it. The sound effect is actually from a Spongebob episode. It's from episode 49B, where Spongebob was the mother and Patrick was the father of a clam. The video of the doge gained quite some attention on Instagram, as it's almost sitting at 40,000 views. But the video gained a lot more attention when it was featured in a compilation on the Free Memes Kids YouTube channel. The Instagram account later posted some more edits of the same doge, with basically the exact same effect. And from that moment on, the bonk meme was created. People then started using it in some more edits, especially with the doge, and it's quite a funny effect because you can apply it to so many situations. The meme saw some mainstream attention when Snapchat added a filter, allowing users to make the bonk effect without any editing software. This is also the first way you can create the bonk meme yourself. You just open up the Snapchat app, hold down on your phone for one second. Once the filter menu pops up, you press on the magnifying glass and look up the word bonk. Then you just follow the instructions on screen, and you cut yourself a bonk effect. Of course, that's the easy way out, but you can also use Photoshop if you don't have a video or just want to be original. Here's Editor Toucan explaining that part. Alright, so it's Toucan at Photoshop here. So basically, to get the bonk effect in Photoshop, you need two things. First of all, you need a picture of someone. Uh, I have PewDiePie, for example. And then you need this thing. It's bonk um, PNG. Google that, you'll find it. I'll maybe put a link in the description. And once you have that, you basically can go from this picture to this. And it's, it's really, really simple. So let me remove these two layers. Nope, not this layer, this layer, this layer gone, this layer gone, okay. So let me delete them. So basically you have two layers. First of all, you put the bunk layer on top. For the second layer, you will go to filter, liquify, and in lick, oh, I'm in the wrong thing. Here, filter, liquify, here we go. And then the first thing you would have to do is choose your forward warp tool, make the size big enough so you can actually drag the head down like this and then you simply drag the head down of course this looks like a bonk but it's not enough yet so what we do then is use the bloat tool and we also make that a bit bigger in size so it fits the head and we inflate the head a bit like that and what we do then is use the forward warp tool again, make it smaller this time, because it's 50, and then just put the eyes on the sides or move the nose up a bit, move the mouth down a bit, make the ears go warpy warpy. Now he looks like some cat, I don't know. Well, he already looked like a cat, but okay. Put this inward, I don't know. There we go, perfect. So now, we have Bonk. And that's all I have for this video. Bonk is just a fun edit you can do yourself, which is probably why it's so popular on TikTok and other meme platforms. 
I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did then be sure to leave a like and consider subscribing if you're new. You can also join the Discord server or even become a Patreon if you want to. So thanks for watching guys and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.